Hello, this is Craig Booker, and this is day five of a 30-day challenge talking to video. And my goal in doing this challenge is to gain confidence, to become more familiar with speaking on camera, uh, to find some sort of comfort level in speaking to the camera and talking to an audience uh, that is not necessarily watching you while you're speaking. So it's recorded. So you're actually talking to a device, a camera, but actually trying to convey a message as if you were talking to a live audience. And so that is my goal here in this challenge is to essentially become more comfortable and familiar with being on camera. My hope is that my video content will will get better in quality as I get more comfortable speaking on camera. There are a few topics that I wanted to touch on. So one of the things I've been paying a lot more attention to watching other creators' content is the role that music and sound plays in their videos. In any good video, whether it is a vlog or it is a movie, uh, whether it is a live broadcast, no, ma no matter what type of co video content it is, music plays a crucial role. And that is something that I kind of probably knew that music is important, but I didn't know how important it was. And it's not something that I really even considered that this is going to be something that I need to invest in, is to find access to quality music to utilize in videos. Second I, topic that I would like to talk about is just this idea of the creative process. I'm used to another type of creative process, and that is the creative process around nonfiction writing for articles, for newsletters, for, for books. And so I'm used to that process, and I kind of know what flow I go through in order to create a piece of content. As I've started making these videos and realizing every day, hey, I've got to come up with something to talk about because the last thing that I want to do, and I think that's a common concern with anybody that takes this video challenge, is that what am I going to talk about every day for 30 days? So you're going to have to come up with some kind of topic that people will want to listen to and that you can talk about for 5 to 10 minutes. Each day, you're kind of put in a position where you have to come up with an idea and then execute on the idea. And so that is another piece of this puzzle or another piece of this process that I really did not think about. It's really kind of inspired me to do this more. Now, I've watched a lot of other people that have gone through this challenge and I've watched their videos from day one to day 30, seen how they've improved and been inspired. And what I noticed is a lot of them were just dreading the rest of this process. Like they were... They get into the first week, maybe they get into the second week, and they begin to dread this process, and they're just ready for it to be over. They are tired of being on camera, and I really thought that's where I would be. I thought I would be sick of this, just really exhausted with the whole topic, and I really kind of find, found the opposite to be true. I found that this kind of energized me to want to create because I'm so used to going through and trying to find a topic to write about or keeping a list of topics to write about. And then when I decide to write something, I have to sit down and go through the process. And writing is so much different from creating videos because there's so much more that I get hung up on with writing an article that I don't get hung up on with doing a video. Now, I probably should spend more time invested in creating videos and maybe when I do so when I spend more time scripting them out uh, you know creating some b-roll to put in them to make them more visually interesting to picking out music that they will take up a lot more time but right now I find a lot of freedom in this style of video I find freedom because I don't overthink it or I don't have to overthink it you know, tonight I was really trying to come up with a different idea for a different topic 
And I was just trying to think it, make it more difficult than it really is. You know, the truth is, is that not very many people are going to watch this video specifically because I'm not going to spend a lot of time coming up with a catchy title for it. I'm not going to be creating a unique thumbnail for it that's going to catch people's attention. You know, the people that are going to watch this are people that are either going through a similar journey where they're wanting to get better talking on camera or it's it's one of my friends or family members that have seen me post about it and they want to go see what this is all about. What am I talking about? What is Craig talking about? Why is he recording video for 30 days straight? And so those are the people that are that are going to watch these videos and that's kind of freeing for me because I feel less pressure to get everything perfect. And that is a huge relief for me. This is what I've noticed. It's creating these videos is kind of freeing because I don't have to overthink every part of it. Where when I write something, I could write like an introductory paragraph and then I get started into the second paragraph and I start rethinking what I wrote in the first paragraph and I'm thinking about the flow of the article and what I want to accomplish there. And it quickly gets into a place where I'm overthinking things. You know, in a lot of ways, there are times where when I'm writing, I am writing in a style where people that people writers refer to as pantsing. Uh, like I'm writing by the seat of my pants. I don't have a defined plan and I'm just going with how I feel and kind of my intuition as I write. And then there's times when I do write with a specific plan where it's all laid out and that's kind of a that's called a plotter uh, so you're, you're plotting out everything that you're going to write about maybe you're giving a high level outline of your topic and then so you create that outline and then you go through and kind of dig into that and write deeper on that on that outline and so there's two different styles i've done both of them uh, you know getting back to these topics these videos you know I really haven't sat down to script any of these videos and that can be kind of freeing. Tonight, I kind of just came up with a few bullet points of what I wanted to talk about. You know, I think as I go, I will get better at coming up with these topics. I will get better at figuring out what to talk about and how it flows. And I'm just looking forward to this creative process because this really helps my brain. This is really good exercise for my brain and creativity. It helps me just flex that muscle that I don't use as often as I should. And for me, this is more about getting better at using that creative muscle than it is about getting views, than it is about getting subscriptions to my channel. That is not the point here. This is a place for me to grow. This is a place for me to gain momentum as a creator, uh, to learn more about video. And I'm less concerned about how many views I get. This is about my personal development and how I can get better and grow as a person. And so this whole thing has got me real excited. All of this thought of, hey, this is an opportunity, has me really pumped about what I can create in these videos. I, I think I'm right about at 10 minutes, and so I don't want to go much longer. So I appreciate you checking this out if you're viewing this. And until tomorrow, we'll talk to you again soon.